So my name is Sheena Jikowicz and I am currently uh, 37 years old. I was not officially diagnosed until I was 21 and um, it kind of came about as a fluke in a way. Um, I very sadly flunked out of my first post-secondary ex uh, experience. The school actually sent me to be tested before I left so that they would have documentation um, that I had learning disabilities. And it was at that time that I was diagnosed with a, a multitude of, of disabilities that I wasn't really aware of. Uh, one of them being ADHD. I went through my entire educational career just feeling disconnected that things just weren't ever clicking for me. And I felt like I was only hearing half of the, the soundtrack of life kind of thing. After I was I was diagnosed, I did do one more year after that. So when I did flunk out of school, I ended up just getting basic jobs. Um, I started in retail, stuff like that. Made my way up to um, a store manager. Lots of, you know, just a very basic thing like that. Um, stumbled into the career path of security. And I actually did that for um, a decade. Uh, it wasn't until I had, um, an altercation at work that actually threatened my life, that I realized there's something more to life than, than this. I still think a lot of misconceptions are about ADHD. Um, it's not just a learning disability in the classroom, it's a, it's a life neurological brain difference. I made so many mistakes as a child interrupting. I mean, keeping friendships was nearly impossible. Um, you know, keeping a friend's secret was almost like asking me to count, climb Mount Everest. So lost a lot of friendships, um, was picked on and bullied a lot just because of how I was acting. Once I graduated from my post-secondary, um, which I got a degree in business, during the pandemic, um, I, I didn't have those resources anymore with, with the supports of school I had graduated. And again, ADHD is considered a learning disability. So once you're outside of the classroom, it kind of stops. Um, and I reached out to my doctor, who is my specialist for my ADHD. And he had an advertisement of Kadak in his office. And I screamed, I just snapped the picture, started like downloading the free PDFs and signing up for like this webinar and this, and it just, uh, led me to the, the adult coaching classes and um they were phenomenal like i don't i don't know it was like not even bringing up a new chapter was like giving me a new book that i could start with i had a million brilliant ideas running in my head why i couldn't get out of bed and actually do any of them um there was no explanation as to oh yeah people with adhd have some have impulsivity that's great. I love that I have impulsivity and you have a reasoning to tell me why I go into a store and walk out with 17 bags when I really just went in for a chocolate bar. But what do I do to understand why I'm doing what? What is the why? How do I accommodate that? Um, and that just wasn't the support out there. And I think a part of it is because there is still at the beginning, a stigma that ADHD was a learning disability, that it just meant that it was hard in school. But that doesn't explain why when I go to the grocery store as an adult and my mom gives me a list of five items, I come home with a cartload and my mom's like, none of this was on the list. And on the five things I asked you to get, you got three. I mean, nothing explains why I do that. Um, so going to the adult coaching class was a lot more of, and I'm really glad that they did a bit of your brain works this way, which is great because I like to know the whys, the hows, but it was like, that's great if you want to look more into that detail, the information's out there, but this is what you can do to accommodate these. This is what you can do to learn this trick. It's like a survival guide for managing ADHD in the world. Um, the world is not built for ADHD people. The accommodations of things being in society is just not there. So kind of getting that survival guide of you can do this to help you can do that to help really helped motivate me personally in my own day-to-day -day life the coaching classes gave me so much more ideas and supports and things like that that i you know i myself just from the time of taking the class till now which was like only a couple of uh, months i i myself have created so many more self-accommodating things that i have implemented at work in my life explaining to my parents like hey my adhd cup 
right now, this situation, my ADHD is impacting it to almost full. So you can't add anything else because my cup's going to overflow. Just learning how to explain it and process it with the rest of my family. Um, I mean, it. there's no other better way to explain it except it became like a survival guide of how to navigate my ADHD with a non-ADHD world.